hello and welcome back to TechFab YouTube channel so today in this video I am going to help you out with this new ransomware WEUI which is spreading from today and I will help you to remove this virus as well as I will tell you some of the methods which you can use to recover some of your data as there is no decryptor for this uh, ransomware yet because this virus is new which is spreading from today so let's get straight to the video and first of all uh, this ransomware belongs from stop djvu family and which is encrypting your data either with the online key or offline key encryption method and you will not be able to open any kind of file from your computer now before i can go further i want to share some of the tips which you need to keep in mind once you will get this ransomware attack and so the first one is turn off your internet connection immediately once you will get this ransomware attack so once your computer is under control of uh, criminals they will do each and every Thing on your computer they can store your personal information so my main recommendation will be to remove the internet connection and try to remove all the unknown IP address in the host file so that uh, unknown person cannot uh, communicate with your computer the second thing is do not pay any ransom to the attacker as there is no guarantee that you can get your ransom you can get your data back and paying ransom is illegal in some of the countries so you need to follow the rules and you do not need to uh, pay any ransom so and the most cause because uh, these ransomware are spreading are because you try to download any cracks or any torrent files from any unknown sites so this is the main reason and this is the main reason you are getting those attacks on your computer so avoid visiting any unknown websites and don't try to download any cracks from these sites now uh, let's try to remove this virus from the computer and what we need to do is the first step which we are going to do is uh, we need to check our host file to confirm if there is any unknown IP addresses and we need to remove them immediately so what you need to do is first you need to go on to the start bar and search bar and type notepad there N O T E notepad and right click there and run it as administrator as you have to the privilege to edit the host file if you are going to open the notepad without this administration access so you can't be able to save the host file click yes and here we go so this is our host file sorry this is the notepad what you need to do is click on file and go click on open now follow the directory you need to click on my computer icon and then you need to go on to the c drive and then you need to find windows folder there click on windows and then scroll down and you will find one more folder called system32 click there and then you need to scroll down a bit once again and you will find one more folder called the drivers click there and click on etc now select all files and you will see the host file of your computer there click on that and click open so now uh, this is the host file which you have to edit now these all IP addresses are all the IP addresses are associated with your computer you don't need to do anything with those local host IP addresses after that you will find some of the unknown IP addresses you need to select them all like that and you need to delete them all so this is the first step which you, which you have to perform and uh, after that you can use your internet and so this is the first step after that you need to click on save and here we go so then close this and then you need to scan your computer with the legitimate antivirus and you can use Avast, you can use Kaspersky and I'm using Unhack Me Reaminator so you can use it as well this is the free software and what you need to do is you need to download it I will put the link in the description so once you will download the software so the main interface will be like that you need to click on virus scan and then you need to click on fix problems and you need to do these three scans separately once you need to do fix malware issues then deep scan and then one line multi antivirus scan and you need to delete or quarantine all the uh, suspected softwares all the suspected malwares you need to delete them all and after doing that step uh, what we can do is you need to find whether your encryption is online or offline so if you have encrypted with the offline key encryption you are easy it's easy to decrypt your data but if you are uh, if you are encrypted with the online key it's very hard at the moment but we do have some recovery methods which you can try but there is no guarantee that they, you can recover all of your data this time so uh, what you need to do is how you can uh, check whether you are affected with the online or offline you need to uh, click on your readme file which will be uh, which will be saved on all your folders and files so click on readme file and then there will be the personal id if it ends with t1 so that means you are encrypted with the offline key and if uh, you have those keys t1 at the end you need to go there and after that you need to download a djvu decryptor like you, you can put djvu sorry djvu decryptor and you can download the djvu decryptor from there and emsi decryptor for stop djvu 
and as I told you this belongs from stop DJ view family so you need to just click there and here we go so it has been downloaded and once it will be downloaded you need to install it and then you need to click on yes and click OK uh, so this will only uh, help you if you are encrypted with the offline after that I will tell you some of the recovery methods for online as well so you need to select the drive you can select D or E whatever uh, your location is what uh, and you need to click on for example E and then you need to add a folder which is affected and after that you need to uh, click on decrypt and if it's successful then you are good to go if not then you need to follow the further steps so this this was for the offline method and now for online method you can use your restore point if uh, your computer has any restore point before the attack you can get back your data and you can get the data back with the restore point how you can do that is uh, you just need to click on start bar again search bar click there and type rstrui.exe rstrui.exe and here we go so this is the run command click there and after that it will take a couple of seconds and here we go so you can just choose any of the restore point I will put choose a different restore point now so I do have one of the restore point here it was for today and uh, if I can click on show more restore points I do have one more restore point on 14th so that means if your computer was doing good on on 24th or if you have any other date you just need to click on that date and after that you need to click on next and then you need to click on finish so your computer will get restarted and you can get your data back but it will only work if you have any restore point on your computer now if you don't have any restore point the second option which you can follow is uh, you can download a software called test disk photo rack so I have already downloaded it and I will put the link in the description and what you need to do is after download that software you need to extract the file like that extract here and it will take some of time now you need to click on that extracted folder you need to drop uh, you need to scroll down and there will be a folder file called qp photo rack underscore win sorry underscore win click there and click on yes and it will take some time and one more thing I'm just advising you is subscribe our channel as we will update you once we will get any more information regarding this ransomware definitely we will update you on this so after that you need to select uh, select this uh, whole drive and then you need to click on file formats so and you need to reset them all and if you want to recover any photos you can just put PNG click there and after that you can just <coughs> click on jpg okay so this is jpg jpg okay click there click yes and after that click okay now what you need to do is you need to click on browse and after that you need to select the path where you want to save the recover data for example i will Put there I will put the location as 63 and then I need to click on search so now you need to wait and you need to check the folder where which you have put as a destination folder where the folder rack will save all of your recovered data so you need to check after that if it's recovering your data so this is the only way at the moment which you can use so after that you need to quite it once you will get your data and the last software which we are going to use is photo uh, sorry it's wondershare recovery this is the paid software but I already uh, uploaded a video on YouTube how to use it for free and uh, I will put the link in the description as well once you will download that software I will show you this is the ultimate version here we go so this is the ultimate version and we are not using any free version and after that after you download that software you need to click on all data lost scenarios or you can just click on a virus attack data recovery so click there and after that select the drive which you want to uh, get the data from and after that you need to click on start and it will take some time and uh, after that you need to check if you are getting the data back so these are the only ways at the moment which you can use to recover your data and I already told you to subscribe my channel and we are working hard for you guys and we'll keep you up to date once we will get any more information regarding the ransomware I will definitely upload the, upload the video for you and same applies for SGLH and LISB and VVOA ransomware as well so we are waiting for the decrypter and hopefully we will get back to you very soon so this was for today and I will see you in the next video till then goodbye